Hi guys, how are you? This is your reading for the um, 12th of September and I'm using the Everyday Witch Terror and I've just uh, done a video on it so you will see the video before you see this one but I'll be coming again uh, live tonight so I hope you're having a wonderful day Good luck, everybody, and thank you very much for your nice responses and the thumbs up. Please keep on doing it and let YouTube know that this is an awesome channel and that we are a big side of family and still growing. Come and experience it for yourself if you wish to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull two cards from this deck for each zodiac sign. Okay. <clears throat> I see that a lot of creators or readers are leaving YouTube. That's most probably because there's also a lot of new ones coming in. And uh, I'm sorry to see some of them go, because they were good. I, was look, I always look forward to see what my star sign is, because I can't read for myself. I need to let somebody else do readings for me. <clears throat> well, well, welcome to the Cyber Family Cards. I have smudged them. So, okay, we're going, I'm going to uh, pull the cards, two cards for every star sign, and you can choose one of them, or you can just choose both of them. Okay, the first one, this is for Capricorn, you've got the Ten of Ones, that means you are, you've come through the walls, you've had a heavy time, uh, that is over now, because there's a new beginning, just a few yards in your home, okay? Then you've got the moon. Listen to your intuition. You've got a new beginning starting. So listen to your intuition and get on the right path. Follow that light on the path. Okay? That is your path. It will be it won't be straight. It will always go squiggle. <clears throat> Corners and bends and uphill and downhill. But stay with the program. Listen to your intuition. Your emotions or your spirituality might be heightened at this moment when you might be meeting a cancer or a water sign but the moon does stand for cancer okay um here we don't see the pillars like we usually have the two pillars the the, the masculine and the feminine so uh, i'm just going to read the card the way it is you are in the spotlight so you will be getting recognition or somebody's got an eye on on you this could be a fire sign Okay, it could be somebody that's romantically interested in you, but you've also got the dark side of the moon, so you might need more information with regard to this new beginning, so that you don't get into the wars again, stay out of that. Okay, that was for Capricorn. Then we have, um, what do you call it? Aquarius, you've got the seven of wands. Okay. The seven of wands in temperance. Temperance. Okay, Aquarius, Badraman, you have the seven of wands. That means you feel like you have to defend yourself. Okay, and you can. You can stand your ground. You can defend yourself. You're stronger than you think you are. And then you've got temperance. Perhaps you're trying to keep balance between home and work. Perhaps between your head and your heart, or your head and your your heart, or your heart and your soul. But you feel as if you have to defend why you do yoga, perhaps, or why you have to keep yourself in in balance. Remember, you don't have to defend yourself. People should just accept it. Okay, we're going to Pisces. Pisces, you've got the Five of Wands. You've got the Five of Wands. 
and you've got the Ace of Cups. The Five of Wands is competition. This could be at work or in a hobby. Okay. Five of Wands is competition. It's a mock fight. It's not really fighting. We're scribbling. And then you've got the Ace of Cups. There might be um, a new job. There might be a new love. There could be a new partner coming in. That is a cancer or um, a fire sign. This is uh, Ace of Cups is uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the Sagittarius might be meeting up with you, Pisces, because the Ace of Cups is you. <coughs> and uh, the Ace of Cups means new love, new job uh, in the healthcare because she's also wearing blue, and blue is the colour of uh, service. And because the, the cup stands for love, passion, nurturing, caring, uh, beauty and sensuality, you might, you might go into um, the health service, but you could also become a new job as a hairdresser or a um, beautician. Awesome. Love it. You can take one or two um, or both cards. Okay, we're going on to Aries, the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. And the Death card. The Six of Pentacles. That's um, giving and or taking. You might be giving away something. Could be advice, could be money. Or you could be receiving if you're not that fortunate. You could be at the receiving end. You might be getting that loan. Okay, Aries. But there is a new beginning for you because the death means you're in a transition period and you're leaving the old behind. So there will be a better future. Okay. Taurus, steer. You've got the Hierophant. and the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> so you might be seeking advice from an older man, like a father figure, or a professional. It could be about finance, I think, or about a job, something that's durable, uh, that has durability and long is for long term. Perhaps you might want to invest so you can relax a little bit, but the Hierophant also is not only a mediator, but is also a teacher. So perhaps you are asking advice on which teacher should I, should I have or where should I study for what I want to do. I don't want to spend all my money. But it could also be advice on balance, on emotional on the emotional side because here you can see them doing yoga and they're learning so they want to also relax so like invest like I said so you can relax a little bit more for future th uh, things but the four of pentacles usually means that you're holding on to your money so if you are spending a lot of money then this is a warning tighten those purse strings and it could also be um, if you are giving too much help or assistance or love to people. It is also a warning. Take things easy. Start getting re to relax. Okay. Do some yoga. Do meditation. Okay. That was for Taurus. Steer. Gemini. You've got the hermit. You've got the hermit. And you've got the Nine of Cups. You've got the Nine of Cups. The Hermit means uh, that's a man alone on his travels, learning life, teaching people. Uh, he's also regarded as a teacher, teaching others what he's learned, passing on the knowledge. 
and he usually goes and meditate and evaluate, takes time out. So perhaps you have to take some time out and you've got two nines here and a nine and a nine is 18. So a nine is imminent here. There is an ending to being alone perhaps. Perhaps there is an ending to quietness. You are going to move on and it's going to be a busy period, a new beginning. And your wish or goal is coming true. Okay. Cancer. Great. You've got the five of cups. Ooh, you're crying over spilled milk and you're not seeing what's behind you. There's still two cups standing in there. And there's a basket. Uh -huh. There might be even more in this case. That's the magical of this car these cards. Don't cry over spilled milk. Look what is behind you. There's still two standing. You've got more than you realize. And then you've got the world. There's an end of a period for you. A new beginning. You might be moving home, going on holiday. What goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. This is also the karma card for me. If you've done good karma, you will get it back threefold. If you've done negative karma, given negative karma, you'll get it back threefold as well. So if somebody's left you and that's what you're crying about, and that could be bad karma if you had arguments and they've hurted your feelings, they'll get their karma back. Okay, Leo. You've got the Knight of Swords, Leo, Leo, the Knight of Swords and the Chariot, awesome. So the Knight of Swords, you are going to receive news. This could be through telephone, email or airmail or text message. Or you might be meeting an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. And then we've got the chariot. You're moving forwards. You're a champion. You've got victory. So this is going to be good news. You're going to receive good news. You might be going on holiday. You might be moving home. You might be getting news that you, your, your application for a mortgage has gone through. Perhaps you are receiving news that you can go to college. So that's moving home because you'll have to start living on your own. You're moving forwards anyway. Good luck. Uh, we've got Virgo. You've got the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands. Victory. Because again, um, positive cards. Four of Swords. Oh, this is confirming that you are going on holiday. You have to take time out. So you've got the Six of Wands. You're coming home or you're being held in as the hero or the heroine. You've got victory. You could be moving home with this card or going on holiday. Recognition, victory. So that's why I said you might be going on holiday, taking time out and relax because you've been really, really busy. That's for Virgo, Macht. Then we've got uh, Libra. You've got the Ten of Swords. I haven't seen this one. There you are. But they're so detailed that I didn't even see that somebody was running away, but you could see the leg there. So she's been stabbed in the back by somebody. That's what you might feel like, Libra. And they've scarpered, they've run away. They've left suddenly. She's trying to reach for the magical broom so she can fly away. Well, a 10 is an end of a period. So the worst is past now. You're going into a much better period because you've got another 10. And 10 and 10 becomes uh, 
too. So you're going to find back your balance and happy families. And you might be going to happy times with family and friends. Okay? Take action though. Don't just sit there and feel sorry for yourself if somebody's hurt you. Just take action and let them go. They won't be, that you don't want them back. Let negative energy pass you by. Okay, Scorpio. We've got the two of pentacles for you. And we have the page of wands. Ooh, I like that one. Nice drawing. Golden trees. Summer there. Definitely not autumn. Okay, you're trying to balance things in your head, Scorpio. Perhaps your money. You're taking money from Peter to pay Paul. Perhaps you're trying to keep balance between home and work. Or learning and working. So, make that decision. And you can find the balance back. You've got the page of wands. You might be receiving news about a job. Or a hobby. Or you might be meeting a new love. When you get this news, you'll have to act swiftly. Especially with the night. But we've got the page. Okay, Sagittarius. You've got the Three of Swords. Okay, you have sadness. Perhaps you've had a loss of a pet or a friend. Or a job. And I always pull two cards on the Three of Swords. And I think it was love. I think it was in love. So, Sagittarius, I think you're going to, this, you've got the Knight of uh, Cups, so you can see all the love is coming back. It might be a new love, okay? All in, they might be coming back. You're going to get news, perhaps, about an offer of a job. Perhaps you've lost a job. It, don't ha it doesn't have to be a relationship or a loved one. Somebody stabbed you in the heart. And then the last one, you've also got the Page of Swords. Something will become clear to you. Something will become clear to you. You're going to receive news. If you choose one, then this is card two, but you can also take both of them, all right? So something will become clear to you. You'll be receiving news through email, telephone, text message. Because it's the, um, the swords and uh, the swords stand for clarity and honesty. Perhaps somebody left you, but they're coming back if they were a loved one, and they will tell you why. Because something will become clear to you. Clarity will prevail. I hope you've enjoyed these readings for tomorrow, the twelfth uh, of um, September, and I'll see you tonight. Please give me the thumbs up. It doesn't cost you a penny. So please give me a thumbs up, share with family and friends, and I'll see you later. Ciao, ciao.